Hollywood Life recently caught up with Kyle Richards, who revealed that the robe cast really had to go in hard on Erica Jane during the uncomfortable reunion. Part 1 of the four-part Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion has come and gone, and no surprise here, but it brought the drama. Andy Cohen began to prod Erica Jane about ex-husband Tom's legal troubles and alleged affairs, ending on a cliffhanger about Erica's faithfulness. Ahead of the premiere, Hollywood Life caught up with Kyle Richards to discuss the reunion. Per the robe star, the cast had to go in hard on Erica, no matter how awkward. I think the fact that it's four parts speaks volumes, Kyle. 52, told HL at the Wacol and Susan G. Komen Foundation luncheon in West Hollywood on October 13. A lot of questions get answered. Andy really had to go in hard on Erica. He had to. We had to. We all knew he had to. Even at times, it was very uncomfortable. It's always awkward, but even sometimes I was like, oh my gosh. This is really awkward. One of the revelations laid out in the first episode on Wednesday was that Erica's lawyers advised her to quit the show amid mounting legal troubles stemming from the lawsuit filed against Tom last year. The former attorney and his firm have been accused of embezzling settlement funds from their former clients, the families of victims who were killed in a 2018 plane crash. Erica told Andy she declined to quit because I have nothing to hide. And they said, you know, this shit can get flipped around on you. She elaborated, everything can be parsed, twisted, turned and yes, possibly used against you. Whether it is true or not, it almost doesn't even matter at this point. While Erica admitted that she considered quitting, she said she wanted to honor her commitment. More so, Erica and Tom have been accused of orchestrating a sham divorce to protect their assets amid the lawsuit. Confronting these allegations had been uncomfortable indeed, but Kyle assured HL that fans will be very satisfied with the remaining three parts. Otherwise they wouldn't have been able to make four episodes. She quipped. Following the premiere of Part 1 on Wednesday, Variety confirmed reports that Season 12 is set to begin production soon. It's unclear who will return, but Kyle did tease her own fate to HL at the luncheon. All good things have to come to an end, she said. I don't know when that time's going to be, but when it does come to an end, I will be extremely sad. These people are my family. Then the headline is, Kyle will walk away. I didn't say that I'm walking away right now. We haven't signed any contracts yet for season 12, but we'll see. Until then, Kyle will be devoting her time to causes important to her, including championing breast cancer awareness with Wacol and the Susan G. Komen Foundation. I lost my mother to breast cancer and it's really important to me to use my platform to bring awareness to breast cancer, Kyle said. I love that Wacol has asked me to partner with them and partner with Susan G. Komen and the fact that they do this event twice a year, the Fit for the Cure event twice a year, where they will give $2 for every fitting that they do with bras. Even if they don't make a purchase, they give $2 back to the Susan G. Komen Foundation which goes to breast cancer research, she continued. To me, that's amazing. I worry about my children and my nieces. There's grandchildren now. Wacol has already given $5.8 million to the Susan G. Komen Foundation and what they can do with that money and the research is huge and can really make such a difference. 